Charlie Brown, now Charlie Brown. I can't believe it. She must think I'm the most stupid person alive. Come on, Charlie Brown. I'll hold the ball and you kick it. Hold it? Ha! You'll pull it away and I'll land flat on my back and kill myself. But Charlie Brown, it's Thanksgiving. What's that got to do with anything? Well, one of the greatest traditions we have is the Thanksgiving Day football game. And the biggest, most important tradition of all is the kicking off of the football. Is that right? Absolutely. Come on, Charlie Brown. It's a big honor for you. Well, if it's that important, a person should never turn down a big honor. Maybe I should do it. Besides, she wouldn't try to trick me on a traditional holiday. It's time I'm gonna kick that football clear to the moon! Ah! Isn't it peculiar, Charlie Brown, how some traditions just slowly fade away? This is Napa Fan here, and this is the 2017 Enter on the Way Thanksgiving 500. We are here at the Coca Cola Super Speedway for my favorite special event of the year here on Thanksgiving morning. A very special event in more ways than one. The legend Caleb Kaufman in the booth with us today. How do you think this one's going to play out here tonight? Well, it's Coca-Cola, and as we know from past experience, it's going to be a great race. Definitely will be. Fuel strategy is going to come into play later on. That's how it is every year. And uh, if you're in that lead pack late in the going, you're going to have a chance at victory. It's 50 laps of action around this three-mile super speedway, 150 miles for today's event. And the fourth time we have done this event, of course, the first time we did it, unfortunately, uh, I deleted it. But uh, the third official time we've done this, both of the past official winners of this race are in the field. Virgil Arvin Alonso driving the number 31, and the number one of Jordan Lopez, last year's winner of this race, both looking to win their second ever Thanksgiving 500. we got 40 other drivers in the field, some of the veterans, some of them rookies, looking to get a win here today in one of the biggest special events in the NRLOA happening here Thanksgiving morning. Happy Thanksgiving to all you guys, by the way. I know I say that a little bit earlier. I have in the past uh, few times we've done this. But happy Thanksgiving to everybody. Happy Thanksgiving to you, Caleb. This is going to be a fun race, and I hope that when you're done watching, that you can um, spend a lot of time with your family and enjoy the rest of the holiday. Anyways, starting on the poll for today's race is Derek Petrie. Alongside him, it's the legend Trey Bartow in the number four. And uh, this race is definitely going to be a fun one, like Caleb said, with these veterans and these rookies mixing it up here today around this three-mile super speedway. Let's go ahead and get our favorite race of the year started by firing the engines up here from the Coca-Cola Super Speedway. Let's head trackside for the command to fire these guys up. On behalf of all the NRLOA drivers, start your engines! And a great command there to fire these guys up. 2017 Thanksgiving 500. And these 42 drivers are ready to roll for this 150 mile race. There will be pit stops in this one and pit strategy will definitely be a factor. We're going to have split packs later on in the race. So it's going to get very interesting and strategic. So not your traditional super speedway race. Uh, anyways, here's how they roll off to the top 10. That is Derek Petrie in the 32 with the pole position. Alongside him, it's Trey Bartow, the Turkey Hill Series champion. 
from season number three. Row number two, the number nine of Bobby Floyd in his first career start here on Napa Fam. He's alongside the 99 of Daniel Bouchard. Got Tanner Palau in the number six alongside John Art in the number 24. Kenny Stremme in the 28 alongside the number 30 car driven by William Brock. And it's Stuart Gratton and the 02 of Matthew Phillips rounding out the top 10. The rest of the starting lineup rolling through your screen. Caleb, you've been in this race before. How tough is it for these drivers racing 150 miles knowing that fuel strategy is also a big factor? Well, you know, it's it's really nerve-wracking because you have to deal with, you know, pack racing and making sure your pit entry is perfect without, you know, causing a huge pileup. And it just it racks your nerves throughout the entire event and it makes this really exciting. Yes, and it will definitely get exciting as this race goes along, as it has every year. And, uh, you never know what's going to happen when one of these long special events. It's Thanksgiving morning. We're thankful for so much. Thankful to be living in this great country. Thankful for the Lord for giving us this opportunity to enjoy what we do. The pace car is going to pull off. Happy Thanksgiving, everybody! Let's get this party started here at the Coca-Cola Super Speedway. The 2017 Enter the Way Thanksgiving 500 is green here in Massachusetts. Pretty much an equal start right there between Trey Barto and Derek Petrie. Sitter Derek Petrie in the number 32 will lead lap one, but here we go. Three wide for the lead. Kenny Stremme on Bobby Floyd and Derek Petrie in the 28 to the point here at Coca Cola. Number 19, Dale Salzman and Noah Clifton on the inside lane. And in this race, we're going to see a lot of frequent passing for the lead, but it's when we get to those pit stops, the first set of pit stops, I should say, that's when we get these packs to split up and, uh, how do you think these guys are going to race it until we get to that point? I think they're just going to be all around aggressive because, I mean, it's it's the beginning of the race. You just got to get yourself in position for the end here. Yes, you do. Here's Nicholas Samadio trying to position himself to the front. Dale Salzman leads lap number two here in the Thanksgiving 500. We got Julio Caesar and the 18 of Isaac Nichols here on this inside lane. And essentially, we're riding this out until that first set of pit stops because if you're in the front when we get to that first set of pit stops, you're good to go. But if you're not, you might have a hard time winning this race. It's early on in this green flag run, but once we get to about lap 10, lap 11, that's when you're going to want to start working your way to the front and possibly getting in that top 10. Sam Adio now up front in the number 8, trying to hold off the 22 here of Julio Caesar. And Dale Salzman following the third, Kenny Stremme, and... At Max Anderson on Isaac Nichols there for the fourth position. Dale Salzman, three wide to the inside of Julio Caesar and Nicholas Samadio trying to take the lead back. He's going to do so in the number 19. And you see a bunch of these guys and that are at the front. Most of them are veterans because they have that super speedway exper experience, and all of them have. At least, I'm pretty sure, one win under the belt for most of these guys. Yeah, most of these guys do have victories. Nicholas Samadio has many victories. Dale Salzman has gained, I believe, six victories this season. Now, Kenny Stremme, this is only his second ever start. He's never won before an Napa fan, but he did really good in the Fall Harvest 500, and he's looking to do more of the same here today. And here is the 2015 winner of this race, Hergel Arvin Alonso in the 31, moving his way on this inside lane. So Alonzo taking the second position away from Kenny Stremme. Isaac Nichols, Al Legacy, now the 26th car driven by Zach Ryan on the inside lane. 
And we got some other guys here. Justin Zydell, defending champion of this race. Jordan Lopez and Mr. Matt Dalio in the number 10. Ooh, they're getting three wide up here. Nearly four wide. That's a lot of shuffling going on. That's Joseph Simwell in the 17. His first career start here on Napa Fan. Al Legacy out front in the number 20. He leads at the one-tenth mark of this event. Still 45 laps to go. This is definitely a very long race, and you got to get up front at the right time. Right now, you still got plenty of time. You got to work your way up to the front right when you need to. And got Matt Dalio here in the number 10. He's doing that. One of the most experienced drivers in the field. The season four Chick-fil-A Cup Series champion. Number 10 trying to dive to the inside of the 15 and the 18. And he is going to move his way close to the top five. Al Legacy still out front in the number 20. Joseph Simwell in the number 17 running second. And the 43 car of Max Anderson is up to third. And I wonder if teammate support is going to come into play this race. I mean, we saw the 18 and the 22 teammates were hooked together there at the beginning and got the 20 of Al Legacy up to the lead. Al Legacy staying out front for now. Here comes Max Anderson. And that thing about teammates, I don't think it exists in a special event. One race deal here, no points involved. The only goal you have in mind is winning the race. And that's what all 42 of these drivers have in mind for this one. Everybody's still with a chance. Everybody's still in this pack on the lead lap. Daniel Voiles, the last car on the lead lap in the 01 right now as Max Anderson leads lap number seven. Ooh, there goes Al Legacy for the lead again under the number 43 of Max Anderson. Looking strong here tonight, Justin Zydell and Matt Dalio. I'm saying tonight because we're recording this at night, so I know this is being uploaded right in the morning, and you're wondering why I'm saying tonight. Well, it's 9:29, uh, Tuesday, November 20 or November 14th when we're recording this, so uh, that's why I'm saying night. So, uh, yeah. Sorry about the little technicality, but you know what? Uh, we're having fun. And Al Legacy is definitely having fun in the number 20, leading this field here on lap 8 of 50. So I'd expect pit stops to begin about lap 15. I believe it's about a 15-lap fuel window here. We might see him come a little earlier. We might see him come a little later. But uh, how do you think that's all going to shake things out once we get to those pit stops? Uh, I think we're just going to see a huge shuffle in the field. Um... You know, again, having a good pit stop is very crucial in winning one of these special events. Yes, it is. And going to have at least two of them here today, possibly three. I'm not entirely sure how it's all going to go down. I believe it's going to be closer to three. But if this goes green flag the whole way through, and there's a high chance we're going to have that this season, we toned down the strength to 103%, so these guys aren't going to be as aggressive as they were last year. Uh, which is going to make it very interesting strategically later on in this event. But if we do, that last set of pit stops usually happens about five laps to go, and that's when it gets very exciting here at oh, the yeah. Coca-Cola Super Speedway. Here's William Brock on Justin Zydell for second. We got Trey Barto here in number four, pushing Matt Delia. Both of those guys have been racing forever here on Napa Fan. And they're in the top five, helping each other there on that inside line. It's kind of neat to see those two veterans help each other there. And Dahlia's going to go to second to the inside of Brock and Zydell as Anderson continues to lead. So Max Anderson, development driver for Alexander Rowe, who currently leads in the Napa Truck Series point standings. Leading the field here at the one-fifth mark of the race. Here's the 55 car of Andrew Miller. It's up to the fifth position in the, or sorry, the fourth position in the number 55. A great run for him here tonight. We've got three wide here. Kenny Stremme to the inside of Zydell and William Brock in a four-car breakaway with Max Anderson, Matt Delio, Trey Barto, and Andrew Miller. There is Trey Barto down for the second position. He's going to take it. Miller trying to take it from the four as Dalio slips the fourth. Max Anderson still out front. And we're starting to see these guys run a little bit single file here at the Coca-Cola Super Speedway, but it's not going to stay that way for long. 
the draft is majorly important. Just look at the average speed, 238.613 miles per hour. Average speed. Average speed here at the Coca-Cola Super Speedway. We don't even hit speeds like that at Daytona without the restrictor plate. So that is yeah. just how fast these guys are going here today in this Enter the Way Thanksgiving 500. Here it goes. Miller to the inside of Bartow, Kenny, Stremi, and William Brock closed into these guys, and Miller's going to take second. Yeah, and uh, you don't want to get these huge types of leads at these plate tracks because uh, you will get freight trained. I mean, we saw it earlier with the number 20 of Al Legacy, and he's way back in the pack right now. Max Anderson has led quite a few laps so far. It's a little bit easier to stay out front at this place. They're battling for second very hard right now. Stremi to the inside of the 55. And I'm going to say this right now. These guys running in the top 10, I think one of these guys is going to be the winner because we're closing in on the first set of pit stops in this race. And that first set of pit stops is a major determining factor to who wins the race. And if you get that lead right when the pit stops begin most likely you're going to be in that first lead pack after the cycle of pit stops is over so we might see some guys come in here we're going to see if anybody does it looks like they're going to wait until the next lap so number 28 has taken the lead away that is kenny stremi out front here at coca-cola comes trey barto Letting the 28 kind of pull away, and with what you said there, Caleb, you don't really want to pull away to a big lead, or otherwise you'll get freight trained, and you see the 43 of Max Anderson. He had a huge lead earlier on. Well, he's now outside the top five in that number 43. We're going to see if anybody comes down and pits here. Yes, lap 14 of the race. I'd expect some guys to do it. And, whoa, Trey whoa, Barto. Trey Barto. Four. That was a very bold move. He's going to come down along with Andrew Miller, and they're the only two drivers to come down on lap 14. Well, again, you want to make sure that your pit entry is, you know, flawless because you don't want to lose any time entering the pits because that can make or break your race. It can. Number 66, number 31. Air Jalar of Alonzo, Justin Zidell, William Brock, and Kenny Stremi. A little bit of a breakaway there. And then there's Matt Dahlia running fifth right now. Taking a look and see what these guys are doing on the pit lane. Trey Bartow looks like he's taking four tires and fuel. Same with Andrew Miller. He's off the pit lane now. And uh, looking to possibly get the advantage on Trey Bartow here. A very long pit lane here at the Coca-Cola Super Speedway. And more drivers coming down, a lot more coming down this time. They are led by Kenny Stremi in the number 28. And here we go. The pack is going to get split up at this point, And we're going to want to watch for the end of this cycle. Because it's going to be who's in that lead pack and maybe in the second pack. Those are going to be the guys who are going to have a chance at victory here today. Max Anderson inheriting the lead from the 28. Jesse, or excuse me, that is not Jesse Turner, that is Davey Johnson in the 33, and Matt Delio in the 10, still out there. There's Daniel Bouchard in the 99, and the 9 car driven by Bobby Floyd. Remember this race last year? Jordan Lopez won in his first career Napa fan start. Will Bobby Floyd or Joseph Simwell on the 17 do that here today? One driver staying up this time, that is Aiden Shepard. Contact number 25. Of Luke Ryan with damage as they're trying to come down the pit lane. He got freight trained from behind. And the 15 of Noah Clifton with front end damage. I believe he was the one who hit the fifth or the 25. Well, yeah, you do not want to see that here at these super speedway tracks. Not only do you rely a lot on engine power, you rely on your arrow, and that's going to mess up that arrow majorly. Definitely for the number 15. A lot of these guys. Here's they're going stop and go. I saw Trey Barto. He took four tires on his pit stop. You see him driving by these guys who came down last time, or at least some of them. And there's Kenny Stremi all by himself out front, and uh, that's not going to stay the same for too long. These guys will definitely close in, and you're definitely going to want to watch these guys who just came down the pit lane. Aiden Shepard finally making his first pit stop in this race on lap 17 of 50. So he definitely took a long time to do so. Now, Barta is still going to be good after all this. I think he's going to close in on this lead pack here. Just going to have to see how it all shakes out. Max Anderson off first with Davey Johnson right behind him. And I am 
pretty sure Davy Johnson is on the lead lap. Get a little confusing sometimes when we have this cycle of pit stops going on. And Kenny Stremme, the 28, driving by everybody, but uh, it, it can't stay that way for too long here at a super speedway like this one. Well, yeah, especially with that huge lead. He has at least a second, uh, not a second, on Hedge Lover Alonso, but it's still quite a fine gap. Mm -hmm. So Alonso is now going to be second. It's actually still Aiden Shepard as the leader here, and he's coming off of the pit lane. We're going to see if he has anything on the 28. I doubt that he will. The 28 going full speed in the 27 here. Still coming off oh, yeah. the pit lane, and Stremi is going to be the leader after this cycle. Very interesting what we've seen here with these guys split up the way they have, but you got these seven guys. I think they're going to form a pack and they are going to close in tremendously fast, and I think they already have on the 28 and the 31 here. So I think we're going to have about a nine-car pack for this lead. And look who's in this pack. Trey Barto, Elijah yeah. Gordon, and Matt Dalio back in here. Those three guys have a lot of wins in the Chick-fil-A Cup Series combined between them. And uh, there's also two Chick-fil-A Cup Series championships there and a Turkey Hill Series championship a lot of experience between those guys and they're all going to have a shot at this one here today. Well, yeah, because they are, are they are well experienced and they are some of the most talented drivers I've ever seen hit, hit the track in the Iron Way. Exactly. I can agree. I talk about them so much and a lot of them because they've been racing for so long and that's why they are so talented. Trey Barto had a very disappointing finish to his Chick-fil-A Cup Series season last year. Was leading in the championship over this guy, by the way. But he crashed late in the going, and he lost his championship bid. And Elijah Gordon took it away. Well, it might be a battle between Elijah Gordon and Trey Barto again in today's event. They're both in the lead pack after the first cycle of pit stops. Second pack sees Brad Stover, Justin's, or sorry... Joseph Simwell, first first time driver. I always mess those names up every single time. 99 of Daniel Bouchard, Stuart Gratton, Nathan Stapleton all in this second pack here. The 40 car driven by Cody Sill, who won the Fall Harvest 500. Fisher G, Bobby Floyd, defending champion of this race, Jordan Lopez, Aiden Shepard. And you got a lot of guys in the second pack. They could make up some time on the lead pack very possible there is about a four second gap between the back of the lead pack and the second pack so we're just gonna have to see how it all shakes out here's Harajil Arvin Alonso and here's Elijah Gordon three wide to the inside for the lead Gordon three wide to the inside taking it away from Alonso and Stremi and the defending Chick-fil-A Cup Series champion, the new NRLOA president, taking the lead on lap 21 of 50 here in the Thanksgiving 500. And you see they're going three wide, I think, for second. Yeah, that's the number 43 to the inside. Next, Anderson not able to make it stick on Andrew Miller and Trey Barto. Matt Delio getting a slipstream from the 43. And we're closing in on halfway in this race. Now, we have not had a caution yet here tonight. And uh, we have one car, actually, sorry, three cars, a lap down or more. And remember what happened there with uh, Noah Clifton entering the pit lane on the first cycle of pit stops. He might be out of this race. Luke Rainey had an issue. He's two laps down. And the 93 car of Eric Monaco is a lap down as well. Everybody else on the lead lap. The last guy on the lead lap is Zachary Fitzwater in 29. Derek Petrie, our pole sitter, has fallen off the pack, along with Tanner Palau. There's Eric Monaco in the 93, a lap down. Got this pack here with uh, Victoria Hamill, the 12 car, driven by Donovan Dufit. The 19 car, driven by Dale Salzman. John Art in this pack with Julio Caesar and the 26 of Zach Ryan. They're a little ways behind our leaders. And for the lead is now the 33 car of Davey Johnson. Been a while since Davey Johnson has driven here on Napa Finn. He's been letting his um, 
Development driver of Jack Cabarrus take the wheel in the Napa Truck Series. And here's Davey Johnson looking to get a victory here today, leading lap 23. Yeah, and we might see that 28 make a move for the lead here, right there. There he goes, Kenny Stremme to the inside. Number 30 of William Brock in this lead pack with Matt Dalio in the number 10. I have a feeling about this guy. I really do. Matt Dalio, one of the strongest guys ever to take the wheel on Napa Fan, and he might get it done here tonight. There's a five of Elijah Gordon. Elijah Gordon is also one of those guys I would not be surprised to see take the checkered flag. It's going to be very interesting to see who gets this victory and how it all shakes out. It's going to get interesting here. Zachary Fitzwater, a slow car in the way of this lead pack, and Kenny Stremme, the 28, got screwed by the 29 there, and this whole pack's getting slowed down, a three-car breakaway from the 29. Yeah, that's a shame for Elijah Gordon here, Joel Arvin Alonzo, and that number 55, because they were, they've were they been strong. Uh, hopefully they can get around him. Yes. Coming to halfway next time by... Here in the 2017 Enter Away Thanksgiving 500, the number 30 car driven by William Brock has taken the lead. Max Anderson and Matt Delio, second and third. Kenny Stremme is in fourth. Alonzo, Miller, Trey Barto. Then it's the 33 of Davy Johnson. There's Elijah Gordon. And a great chance for these guys back here to make some ground on that second pack, or in that lead pack, I should say. Justin Zydell now leading this uh, second pack here. And when we get to the second cycle of pit stops, if these guys in this pack get a very good second pit stop, they might be able to join the first pack on the next run. Be very interesting here as we close in on the finish. We're halfway through this race. Matt Delio for second on Max Anderson, not able to do so. And again, about talking about people that wouldn't be surprised to see um, in victory lane. In that second pack, we have the number eight of Nicholas Samadio. He has uh, a few Super Speedway wins here on that fan. Yep, and definitely the most memorable of those. The season two Chick two Daytona series, yep. Daytona 500. I will never, ever forget that race. One of the most memorable moments I have ever had doing the yeah. races for you guys. I'm sure you remember it very well as well, Caleb. Oh yeah, that one definitely. That one was a great race. Definitely one of the classics. And uh, speaking of classic, how about Matt Delio taking the lead here in the number 10? Stremme has found his way back to second. There's the 43 of Max Anderson in third. The 30 car is driven by William Brock and Trey Barton. Now tomorrow, we got the uh, battle, and it's going to be right here at this racetrack, but under the lights. So some of these guys I know are in the battle. And you're in the battle as well, Caleb, so you're kind of coming out of retirement there to join Team uh, yeah. away. Uh, but we also, I believe, have Trey Barto and Davey Johnson, and here they are leading in this race. They got a good chance at getting this experience here today and using it tomorrow for when it could really count. No oh, contact. William Brock and Matt Dalio almost had a moment there. But uh, fortunately, they kept it together, and we remain green. Again, you yes. can just see the experience between the number 10 and the 30, keeping it straight. Both these guys are very experienced drivers. As a matter of fact, Season 4 Chick-fil-A Cup Series finale came between these two drivers and the championship. Matt Dalio took the lead on the last green flag lap of the race. The caution came out. He beat William Brock at the line, and the caution ended the race early. So... Maybe a little bit of bad blood there between those two drivers after that one. I think William Brock might want to get a little bit of revenge after what happened a year and a half ago between him and the driver of the number 10. But Max Anderson leading the field right now in the 43. 30 of William Brock's going to die the inside with help from Davey Johnson and Trey Barto. There it goes, a 33-3 wide for the lead. Oh, and the 43 just dropped like a rock to the back. I'm wondering if he's trying to come down the pit lane here. He can't do it now. He's got Andrew Miller and Alonzo to his inside. And look what happened to Elijah Gordon here. He ended up falling back, and the second pack's about to catch him. There's Stuart Gratton. There's the 0-2 car of Matthew Phillips. This second pack is still huge, and any of these guys in this second pack, they still have a chance of victory. Turner almost in the outside wall there. The 97.
Another lapped guard. Derek Petrie in the way here. They might get around him a little bit easier than these guys try to get around Zachary Fitzwater earlier on. Davey Johnson, the leader, in the number 33 in the second cycle is going to start here yep. shortly. Yeah, we're exactly in that pit window, and we're going to see Trey Bartow come Andrew down early. Bartow and Andrew Miller are two of the earliest guys. Now Stuart Gratton's going to join them in the 77. Oh, yeah. I think for Gratton, he's probably hoping to possibly catch a draft with these two guys who are in the lead pack, so we're going to have to see how that all shakes out. Mm -hmm. Here's the thing. There's going to be one more set of pit stops in this race after this one. It's going to happen right near it's, the yeah. end. And that is going to get very exciting as we finish this 2017 Thanksgiving 500 out here at the Coca-Cola Super Speedway. So Davey Johnson, still the leader. Matt Delio, Kenny Stremme. You got to hand it to him tonight. The rookie driver with all the veterans around him doing a fantastic job here in this one. And a lot of guys coming down this time. You got... Jordan Lopez, we haven't really talked about him too much in this race. Might want to watch for this, Sam Adio, and four wide. Oh, my. And they're still four wide, I believe, with the number seven right there. They are. This, this is not good. They're rubbing off each other there. And they're somehow, good now. they figured it out in the car. Oh, we have now. a caution. That's why that was going on there. Something happened. The Looks like with the 0-1. This happened right in the middle of a pit cycle. That's so going to shake up. Delio in the 10 is going to come around and take the race back to the checkered or to the yellow flag here. You know what's going to happen here for these guys who are staying out. They might be able to make it on one more stop with this caution occurring. Well, yeah. Wow. I've gotten a few wins here on this channel uh, by doing that with pit strategy. Exactly. I remember, Pocono, your last win there uh, in the Chick-fil-A Cup Series Season 6. Yep. Now, it wasn't necessarily these guys coming to the end of the race and them needing to come in, but in that last pit stop, you went with fuel only and you got it ahead of everybody and stole the win away. Really wasn't a, really weren't a factor in that race all race yeah. long. Yeah. But uh, this is definitely a major shakeup. Andrew Miller and Stuart Gratton. And um, I'm wondering if this yeah, might have happened yeah. with these guys coming off the, off pit the lane. pits. They could have been going side by side. We see this at Atlanta. Oh, my. Oh, and that's going to be. Those are oh, two contenders. My goodness. And and that's that's Kenny Stremme, William Brock, Max Anderson. Those are people off the lead pack, and, now and the 40 I'm 40. Of Cody Sill has just gained damage. See, Isaac Nichols with damage, and these guys not figuring out. This race has just gotten a lot easier for Matt Delio and Davey Johnson, I believe. Yeah. There's Sergio Larvin Alonso. I think he might inherit the lead here. I believe so. Has not cycled through yet, so I'm wondering. I don't know where that is. Daniel McMillan, shown as the leader in the 44. And he is... I'm trying to find him. Came mm -hmm. down. He might, I think, yeah. I don't necessarily think he's actually the leader. He came down with the rest of the uh, leaders. Yeah. Look at Matt Dalio. He's done with his pit stop. He's right behind the 32 here of Derek Petrie. Uh, that's interesting there. But Dalio will still win the race off. Oh, and Trey Barto with damage in the 4. And I'm wondering if he might have been involved in this as well. You see John Arndt with damage. We're going to have a lot to review here in our first <laughs> caution of the race. And this, I think all these guys here are on the tail end of the lead lap. And I think Dalio is the leader in the 10. Well, this Ellen's race just took a third, So Stapleton's going to have a chance. Bobby mm -hmm. Floyd in the 9. This changes everything here at the Coca-Cola Super Speedway. So Matt Delio, the leader here, most likely. Let's go ahead and see what happened to bring out the first caution of the race in the 2017 NRLOA Thanksgiving 500. This is the reason for the caution. They're coming down the pit lane. Justin Zeidel tries to go in too wide. He's got Daniel Voiles to his inside. And 
The unfortunate happens here. The 66 clips the 01, and this is literally the worst pit road wall in all of NR2003. Foils. Ow. Right into him, and Al Legacy in the 20 with damage. And that's exactly what I was talking about earlier in the race. Get on to the pits without causing a huge pileup. And that's exactly what I was talking about, because that's happened more than once. Yes. Daniel Voiles is returned. Uh, definitely not the way he wanted it here. At least these guys got to race quite a few laps. Victoria Hamill in the 36. Did she uh, hit him? I think she avoided it. Let's go ahead and replay that in real time. Replay this in real time. You see Voiles kind of having an advantage there on Zydell, and Zydell tries to come down, and he gets into the 0-1. I, I just don't get that. Just don't get that at all. Legacy, unfortunate victim of this one. See this happen sometimes, and like with yeah. Caleb, what with Caleb was saying, got to get down the pit lane without contact, and that's the second incident we've had coming down the pit lane here today. Now... These guys were slowing down. There's Derek Petrie. He's a lap down already in this race um, in the number 32. These guys are racing back to the line. We're going to go ahead and see what happened. Um, under the caution and review all of those little incidents that happened under the caution here at the Coca-Cola Super Speedway. So this is what happened here. Kenny Stremme in the 28. I have no clue what's going on there, but he runs right into the lap car of Derek Petrie, Max Anderson as well. William Brock does the same. And then you're going to see Cody Sill come in here and accumulate damage. Right, right there. Right there. And then we also had Andrew Miller and Trey Barto do a little bumper cars as well and uh, there's bumper cars enough to get them knocked out. Actually, it oh, already that, happened. Yeah, it already, so already let's happened go ahead and see point. what happened with those guys. Well, as you see, they're just struggling to slow up uh, because the pace car has come on and the 4 and the 55 just don't slow up and it's a huge pile up from there. You see the 26, 18, Trey Barto, they're all involved and they were huge contenders for this race. Um, uh, you know, Trey Barto was one of my picks to win and he's going to be out of the race for, for you see Luke Ryan with damage, John Arndt, Trey Barto, Zach Ryan, and the 18 of Isaac Nichols, and the 93 of Eric Monaco. He's lapped down at least. He also got some damage in that one too. Andrew Miller and Stuart Gratton. One of those days for those guys. And we, we went 30-some laps without a caution, and yeah. boom, everything occurred. It's... Kind of crazy, just because it wasn't necessarily right just there, a. There it happened again. Yeah. With the four, actually, that was the. We already. That was the. That. Yeah, we already reviewed that. So many crashes, we can't even keep them straight. That's I know, crazy. What, this race has been. I know it's not even just one big one. It's just a bunch of secondary crashes that's happened under caution. Yeah. Hopefully that'll be it for the day. Now here's where things get really interesting. We're gonna have these caution laps. Guys like Dalio, guys who came in here, they might be able to make the race without coming down again. This is going to get fun. This is Thanksgiving Day, my favorite special event, and it's going to be good like it always is. So stick around. You don't want to miss a thing. Matt Dalio in the 10 leading the field here at Coca-Cola. We are back here at the Coca-Cola Super Speedway, the 2017 Inner the Way Thanksgiving 500. Matt Dalio the leader, but his chance of winning this race has got a lot harder. All these guys who are in that second pack, or at least those that, they, that did not get involved in crashes, they are back in contention for this win. Daniel McMillan is third right now. We haven't even seen him all race long. It's Matt Dalio, Davey Johnson, Daniel McMillan, Nathan Stapleton, Bobby Floyd, Daniel Bouchard, Aiden Shepard, Jesse Turner, Brad Stover, and Noah Cars, the top ten. The driver's knocked out after this one. Hair Jalarvan Alonso is a lap down. Elijah Gordon... Fisher G, the 02. These guys might be uh, on the end of the field, and I think those were guys that got cycled out because um, the uh, caution ended up coming right when the pit cycle was happening. So Alonzo, Gordon, um, they were two guys battling up front. They got shuffled a lap down because of the caution. Guys getting knocked out Isaac Nichols, John Arndt. William Brock, Max Anderson, Derek Petrie, Trey Barto, Stuart Gratton, 
Cody Sill, Justin Zydell, Andrew Miller, Al Legacy, and Daniel Voiles, Luke Rainey, and Noah Clifton were already knocked out from earlier on. Davey Johnson, the leader in the 33. Victoria Hamill and defending champion Jordan Lopez on the tail end of the lead lap. Yeah, and you see already just because of that single file restart there, they're not really pack racing us now. <laughs> they're pack racing. They're going to be pack racing to the end, and I believe they can go to the end, but I'm not 100% sure. There might be somebody out here who can make it to the end and a lot of other guys who can't, so... I had no idea how this whole thing's going to shake out, but I know it's going to be exciting. We could end up with somebody like Aiden Shepard or Noah Cars winning this race. Both of these drivers, they have made a lot of starts on Avifan, but neither of them have ever won before. A good opportunity today for them to possibly be in victory lane. Nathan Stapleton now front in the 21. Here comes Aiden Shepard with Brad Stover on the inside. And how about my man Jesse Turner on the inside lane? How yeah, there goes Turner. Him? all day long he's in the top five now in the number 97 well these laps have flown by we're we have 12 laps to go in this event it's been pretty it's gone by pretty fast it has gone by fast and, uh, these guys know it has they know it's closing in and they know they got a chance of making it to the end now in this draft they can save a little bit of fuel it's a, it's so technical, and we're too stupid to figure it out, so we're just going to have to watch and see what happens. Here comes Nicholas Samadio in the eight, up to fourth now in that machine. Brad Stover's third, Jesse Turner second behind Aiden Shepard. Number 88 looking for second, I believe, yes. Second career win, and this would be a very big win in Brad Stover's career if he can get it done. Jesse Turner, a Chick-fil-A Cup Series champion and an Daytona 500 champion. This would just add to his impressive list. And this guy, he just wants to win. It's been a long time for him, that 27. He's got an opportunity. He's led the past couple of laps. Here comes Nicholas Samadio. Samadio won an Aero Electric Pro Series race here earlier this year. Might want to watch for him possibly stealing this win away. And Davey Johnson back up front here in the 33. Yeah, a bunch of these guys up at the front know what they're doing, and they they know how to get around this track. A lot of veterans running up front in this race was not really the case in the Fall Harvest 500 or a lot of past special events in that matter. This year, a little bit different. The veterans doing pretty good, with the exception of those guys who got crashed out. And uh, we might very well see our first ever winner on Napa Fan get win number, I believe, 13 or 14 of his career. I don't know. I lost count. I haven't updated that thing in so long. But that 97 at Jesse Turner could be the winner. Brad Stover taking the lead away. Whoa, big check up on the outside. That 27 uh, nearly caused a very chaotic incident. Here comes Bobby Floyd in the nine. And remember last year with Jordan Lopez. That was Ooh. Lopez's first ever start. These guys are coming close here. Yeah, they're getting they're getting close to making contact there. They fortunately avoid it. They're four wide in the back. They're four wide. They're gonna avoid it. Go back down the three wide. Alonzo's a lap down. Elijah Gordon's a lap down. It's very unfortunate for those guys. They're running really well, yeah, and because of the caution they got shuffled out of line and they fell a lap down well it's a two-car breakaway right now between Davey Johnson and Brad Stover but if they continue passing for the lead Bobby it's not gonna be that way for long. in the nine could take it away here comes Daniel McMillan in the 44 and Christian Parker in the 96 only his second ever start first time we've mentioned him all race long here today and they're going to go double wide for second. Fourth now. 96 oh, yeah. taking it away. David again, Johnson looking really strong. And again, that's one of those uh, no, that's one of those examples of just getting freight train. You got the draft on the inside. And once you get to the outside, it's just kind of you're stuck there. Yeah. The outside lane is not the place to be here at the Coca-Cola Super Speedway, especially through the corners. You're going to see Bobby Floyd get shuffled out of line there. <laughs> Look at these three guys. Four guys actually trying to screw things up. They're all a lap down. Fisher G, Elijah Gordon, Victoria Hamill, 
and defending champion Jordan Lopez, they don't have any reason to be running as fast as everybody else, but here they are messing with everybody. Only seven laps to go in this race. It is closing down fast. You need to be on that inside lane if you're uh, deep in the pack. As a matter of fact, there really isn't an inside lane right now. These guys have kind of avoided the three and four wide, and they're kind of back down the two wide. Daniel McMillan to the inside. They're going to make three wide for the lead. And Brad Stover taking it away from the 44. Yeah, you just gotta, you just gotta consider when it's too early or too late to make a move. Yes, still early on, but it's closing out fast. And do not forget, some of these guys might run out of fuel. You can't forget that. That this is gonna be a memorable finish. I have no clue who's gonna win at this point. But that's what's going to make this race so entertaining. Davey Johnson got shuffled out tremendously, Whoa. and Tanner Palau almost got into him. I believe the six is a lap down, and in fact he is, so he's not in any battle for the lead. Here's Matt Delio and Jesse Turner on the inside. Noah Carr's Aiden Shepard on the inside there. The lead, Brad Stover in the number 88. Bobby and Floyd up the second. Yeah, you see one of those lap cars pushing the number 88. Yeah. He won this race last year, Jordan Lopez in the one. Don't think he's going to have a chance this year, but he still wants to run up front. There goes Bobby Floyd to the inside. Nicholas Samadio, Nathan Stapleton back in here. Stapleton on Samadio. Five laps to go. Brad Stower out front in the 88. Yeah, you just got to stay in your position, and you'll be good. But with the number nine right on his tail, I don't think he's going to be able to stay in that position. Yes, it's four and a half laps to go. A lot can happen between now and the finish, and a lot <laughs> is Zachary Fitzwater in the 29. He's holding up the inside lane. And that's exactly what happened. In. That's exactly what happened in the he's Christmas setting Eve. setting this whole thing up, and look at this pack now. Matt Delio and Jesse Turner on the inside lane. And oh, that's game for the 88. It is. Falling back as Fitzwater gets in the way. Now, if a caution were to come out now, that would end the race. Christian Parker and Bobby Floyd for the lead. And here come the legends. Jesse Turner, Matt Delio oh, on the inside lane. And these are the guys that have been here from the very start. Jesse Turner won the first ever Daytona 500 and race of the Chick-fil-A Cup Series. I think he could very well get this done. And you know who started on the pole for that very first race? Matt Delio in number 10. These guys have been around forever, and I said that earlier on. And I love seeing these guys in victory lane just because of the overwhelming support that they have given. But all these other guys want to get a win. It's three laps to go. Who knows how the fuel strategy is going to go. 96 of Christian Parker leads it with three to go. Here comes Jesse Turner in the 97. Now, Jesse Turner is out front, but the big question is, can he stay there with the number 10? Matt Dahlia really wants to win. Yes, and Davey Johnson's now in third, and Nicholas Samadio, he's coming. Here he comes. Fourth. These are all the guys from the beginning of the Chick-fil-A Cup Series. Davey Johnson's actually the least experienced of the top four right now. And he's gonna, just going to go ahead and take the lead away from Turner and Dalio. But will these guys have to come down? Is anybody coming down here? Yes, they are. Yep, that's Alonzo. That's Alonzo. Alonzo. And do fit, I believe. No, that's uh, Matthew Phillips and Fisher G. They actually did come in a little bit earlier than our leaders. Two laps to go. And Davey Johnson out front here at Coca-Cola. And I believe that number one might be out of fuel. No, he was just... Jordan Lopez slowing it down a little bit and holding up these guys. Turner and Dalio have fallen back, and here comes Nicholas I believe it's going to be a three-car race for the lead unless it that second pack... Be, but will these guys come down? We know that Alonzo and those guys who were caught a lap down have come in. Will it be the same case for the leaders? Coming to the white flag. Coming to the white flag. The lap car is coming down, and look who all of a sudden has a chance at getting this win. Matt Delio with a chance. It's Sam Adeo with the white flag at the number eight. Who McMillan is right there. Here in the inner of the way, Thanksgiving 500 for 2017. Nicholas Let's Sam Adeo, Daniel McMillan, Davey Johnson, Matt Delio, and Daniel Bouchard. Donovan Dufit will not be a factor. Neither will the 31. 
with the single file racing going on. I believe this might be over. McMillan is the only other guy who has a chance at beating the eight. I don't think he's going to get there. And it does appear that the number eight of Nicholas Samadio is going to come in at turn number four. Nicholas Samadio wins the 2017 Interloway Thanksgiving 500. And it blows up! Up right at the line. Well, got the win. How about that? Well, I bet he's thanking the Lord that that didn't happen half a lap earlier. Have you ever seen anything like that in your oh life? My. No, he blew up as soon as he crossed the start finish. Oh what a finish. Oh my goodness gracious. Well, he won't be dirt burning that one down. <laughs> he already has. No, he won't. <laughs> But he's still the winner in the number eight. How about a little tribute to Dale Jr. right there? Nicholas Samadio wins the 2017 Enter of the Way Thanksgiving 500 in one of the most, I don't even know how to explain it, things that I've ever seen in my <laughs> life. <laughs> as soon as he, you just saw a huge cloud wow. of black smoke. Wow. wow. Hey, hey, Nicholas Samadio, the master of memorable finishes. Let me tell you that. <laughs> the guy knows how to what do it in style. What a win for the veteran driver. Daniel McMillan, a close second. Wishes he blew up just a second before he... I, I mean, I don't even know. I've <laughs> never seen anything like that in my life. But hey, you know what? He's still the winner after all of that. They were able to make it on fuel. They did just fine, and for Nicholas Samadio, he did just fine, as just fine as you can get. I don't know how. You, you can't script that any better. You yeah. just can't. And he knows how to do it in style. Wow. Just wow. That's all I can say. Davey Johnson, Matt Dalio, Daniel Bouchard rounding out the top five. Bobby Floyd in his first ever start, a sixth place finish. Jesse Turner, Nathan Stapleton, Joseph Simwell. And Christian Parker, the top ten here on Thanksgiving morning. And, uh, <laughs> all those guys at the other end of the race getting involved in those crashes earlier on. Unfortunate day for those guys here in this special event. Hate to see it happen in a special event, but that's just the way it happens sometimes. And uh, those guys have to wait till next year for a chance at winning the Enter the Way Thanksgiving 500 with Caleb. Uh, how about this one for your first ever co-commentary race with me? <laughs> it's a good well, one, wasn't it? Yeah, that was a good one, I guess you could say. Uh, I, I predicted it because I said this is going to be a crazy race, and sure enough, it was. It was unbelievable, right? With Nicholas Samadio blowing his engine at the end. I'm still in shock. <laughs> but he's still the winner. He's still celebrating... And uh, Nicholas Samadia, one of the veterans here on Napa Fan, getting it done. How about that one? And uh, hey, hey, tomorrow night, he thought this was crazy. The battle is going to be crazy as well. The NOFSRL versus NRLOA battle. I'm looking forward to doing that with Marty and Elijah. I'm not sure if Caleb's going to be with us or not. Uh, we'll have to see with Marty, but uh, still, you're going to see it tomorrow night at 8 p.m. Eastern Time, right here on Napa Fan and on Marty's channel. Definitely watch it great race. It's going to be a great race, and especially with me competing. Yes, it is. Caleb Hoffman's back, guys. He's out of retirement trying to get win number 19 and tie Garrett Sonor again. He doesn't want Sonor to pull away with that thing. It's going to be fun seeing what happens tomorrow night, but it was sure fun with this one this morning. You're on Thanksgiving morning. Nicholas Samadio in the eight. I love this guy, man. He has just given us memorable finish after memorable finish, and mm -hmm. I hope he never leaves. Fantastic race. Nicholas Samadio, the winner, and I hope you all have a happy Thanksgiving. I'm really thankful for all you guys. I'm thankful for you, Caleb, as well. You're a great friend of mine. And for all you other guys out there who have co-commentated with me and just supported this channel, I cannot thank you guys enough for all the support. You guys mean a lot to me. And um, with my life changing lately with college and work and everything just so different from what it was last year, it's nice to know that this is still the same way. I really am nostalgic with things and to see this kind of still be the same, the same community that it's always been, just warms my heart. And I'm so thankful for you guys. I'm thankful for the Lord for giving me this opportunity to have friends like Caleb and friends like you guys and just 
to have fun with you guys with these races. Unbelievable. Caleb, what are you thankful for? I know you're thankful for a lot of things as well. I'm just thankful for the opportunity to just do everything with all you guys, to be able to, you know, compete in these races, to be able to, you know, hang out with this community because every moment is a blessing to me. It is, and the Lord has blessed us all. It's just amazing what he's done for us, and never forget it. And uh, I'm thankful for everything he's done for me and for Caleb and for all you guys out there in the NR2003 community. I'm thankful for Nicholas Samadio giving us a great finish here today in the Thanksgiving 500. And uh, I hope you all have a very happy Thanksgiving, spending time with your families and uh, just uh, enjoying the day and just reflecting on what we have to be thankful for. It's amazing. And... Uh, it's just it's just really hard um, to, to, to not think otherwise at the time. I don't know. It's really hard for me to talk about it, I guess, and think about what I'm going to say. This happens every single time when I try to get all emotional. I completely screw it up. But you know what? Thank you, everybody. Thank you, Caleb, for all that uh, you've done for me as a friend. And um, thank you for joining me here today for the Inner Way Thanksgiving 500. What are your final There's thoughts on this one? Well, it was it was it def definitely did not disappoint. Um, I hope to be able to do this again because that was a roller coaster of just craziness. It was, and uh, this one will be remembered for a long time, no doubt. Um, yeah. And I can't say congratulations enough to Nicholas Samadio, the winner of the 2017. And Earl away Thanksgiving 500. So thank you guys so much for watching and supporting. And uh, have a happy Thanksgiving, everybody. Christmas time is just around the corner. I got my Christmas tree right here. I just bought it today from the Walmart. I'm going to set it up in my room. And uh, I'm looking forward to setting it up. But i got to wait till tomorrow to do that. But anyway, so, thank you guys really? very much for watching. Congratulations to Nicholas Samadio. Happy Thanksgiving to all you guys out there. And I hope you have a wonderful day. On behalf of Caleb Hoffman, I'm Napa Finn. I will see you guys later.